All right, with the alligator snapping turtle life and development study that I've implemented, I have to feed a grouping of hatchlings. And it's fun to raise hatchlings up from the moment they've uh, come out of the egg, but it can be a little more difficult than just cutting up large fish or buying catfish and, and feeding clams and things like that. You need smaller food. So I'm looking for small snails and hatchling crawdads. We have a creek on our property and I'm getting ready to get down in the creek and look for some snails. And they love these certain little snails that I find in this creek and just munch them up. I like to get down here in the cattle crossing. We have a cattle crossing here in our creek and the water's just gently flowing. It's a little murky right now. And there's rocks in here, and the, the little snails that I'm looking for are down in these rocks. So one of the ways is to pull up this debris here in, the, in, their, in these leaves. And it's pretty hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to quit filming here in a second. But I've collected quite a few already, and they're, they're going to be really little snails. And they crunch these up, shell and all. It's really an important part to their diet. take them in. I'll put these inside, uh, change their water, and then leave them purge for about 24 hours, maybe a little longer than that. And I'll let them warm up to the same temperature that the turtles are in. And then I'll weigh all these, offer them to the seven hatchlings, and they'll eat these up pretty quick. Snails have been removed from the water and dried for the most part and they're put on a piece of paper here that absorbs the moisture and I'll weigh the whole thing. That's six and a half grams with the paper. Bye. <laughs>